It's easy to imagine that the physical world around us is a world of imbalance. And to imagine that for every organism, coping with change is a constant struggle against natural imbalance. But in fact, the physical world performs many balancing acts of its own. An organism can help maintain a steady state inside, or homeostasis, by taking energy cheap rides on these natural balancing processes. Within an organism, reactions between atoms and molecules tend to balance naturally. These reactions can be exploited to help maintain homeostasis. One simple example of chemical control in the body is known as competitive inhibition. Organisms produce many complicated chemical compounds called enzymes. These enzymes act as a kind of template in a chemical reaction between other atoms or molecules. When an enzyme template assists the reaction, molecules can combine much more frequently. If an enzyme acts as a kind of on switch for a chemical reaction, what turns the reaction off? The body usually needs an off switch to balance the amount of a chemical it forms. Consider one particular series of reactions in the cell. The chemical threonine is converted step by step to produce an amino acid, isoleucine. Isoleucine is an essential building block for some proteins. The reaction is accelerated by several different enzymes. To control this reaction, isoleucine, the end product, actually acts as an off switch. It competes for one of the enzymes. Isoleucine combines chemically with this enzyme to produce a new molecule. This new molecule is no longer capable of acting as an enzyme in the reaction. So isoleucine shuts down its own production. But as the isoleucine is used up, it can no longer compete for enzymes and inhibit their function. So the cell can create more isoleucine, which again shuts off the reaction. This natural chemical process, competitive inhibition, regulates the concentration of isoleucine in the cell. It's an example of how a cell can manipulate the natural laws of chemistry to maintain homeostasis. Cellular respiration is a more complicated biochemical balancing mechanism. Cells require oxygen, which must be brought into the body and then into each cell. At the same time, cell metabolism produces large quantities of carbon dioxide, which must be removed, first from the cell and then from the body. The fluid outside the cells contains a wide variety of atoms and ions there is continual chemical activity. The law of mass action describes and helps us understand a natural tendency for these chemical reactions to act in two directions. Outside every cell, carbon dioxide combines with water to form carbonic acid and vice versa. More of one set of reactants shifts the reaction to produce more of the other. In theory, the opposite condition can occur. 
But in reality, cellular respiration delivers large quantities of carbon dioxide outside the cells. Water is, of course, plentiful, and an enzyme, carbonic anhydrase, speeds up the reaction 13,000 times to produce large quantities of carbonic acid. Now watch how the body tinkers ingeniously with the law of mass action to build an efficient exhaust system. Carbonic acid is unstable in water and quickly reacts to produce bicarbonate ions and hydrogen ions. The law of mass action should come into play to balance the reaction. But the body deliberately prevents this. Arriving in great quantities near every cell are hemoglobin molecules, which carry oxygen for the cells. Hydrogen ions tend to react with the hemoglobin and release oxygen, with three immediate benefits. The oxygen diffuses into cells where it's needed. Left free in the body, hydrogen ions make the blood acid, which ultimately upsets all kinds of body chemistry. The hemoglobin reaction buffers the blood by removing hydrogen ions, preventing acid from building up. Finally, removing the hydrogen ions means that carbonic acid ionization cannot reverse. This ensures that carbon dioxide can continue to escape from the cells via a sequence of reactions. The body has manipulated the law of mass action, so it works in one direction only. To complete this exhaust system, the blood transports bicarbonate ions and hemoglobin-carrying hydrogen ions from capillaries into veins and eventually to the lungs. Here, conditions are reversed. The air in the lungs is oxygen rich. The air in the blood is oxygen poor. So oxygen diffuses into the blood. Large quantities of oxygen reverse the direction of the hemoglobin reaction. Now large quantities of hydrogen ions become available, which reverses this ionic reaction to produce carbonic acid. And in turn, large quantities of carbonic acid reverse this reaction, freeing carbon dioxide. Now there is more carbon dioxide in the blood and less in the air of the lungs. So carbon dioxide diffuses out of the blood. This completes an energy efficient waste disposal system. The law of mass action is nature's own balancing act. But the body chooses the time and place. First at the cells, then in the lungs, and then in the cells again, and so on. Chemical seesaws, like this one that balances both oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood, are important mechanisms of homeostasis.